Hey everybody, today I'm going to be taking a look at a system called Spoink OS. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm under a GitHub page and uh, has a little bit of overview information on it. So I'll read from this. Spoink OS is a user-friendly, open-source Linux distribution that aims to provide a smooth and efficient computing experience for everyone. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned Linux enthusiast, our distro has something for you. And it also has some uh, other features right here and in info. For instance, it uses KDE. So we'll be on the KDE desktop. It's based on Ubuntu. So it uses the uh, Ubiquiti installer. And there's other things right here. Also has some information to installation. So I've already downloaded the ISO and I've already installed it. I've even installed updates. So uh, I got it open in a virtual machine. So let's head on over to that and take a look at uh, Spoink OS. And here we are on the virtual machine. As you can see, uh, Spoink OS is completely installed and we are on the desktop. And it does use the uh, KDE Plasma desktop. So we have no welcome screen or anything like that. But like I said, already installed on. I already got on and uh, installed updates. So the system is updated and everything's fresh and ready to go. So on this system, we have a bottom panel with our system tray on the right, pinned items on the left, and our application menu. Okay, and then let's check out our uh, application launcher. And we have our categories on the left side. So we have favorites, all applications, development, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, science and math, settings, system, utilities, and help. And then we have our uh, logout, login session. And then we also have some uh, quick links down here. And we also have a search. So the search, you just start typing and it should get to what you need all right so i guess we can start off with the development we have kate which is our text editor so let's take a look at it, kate and this is your uh, standard text editor on the kde plasma desktop and if we look at the about we were running version 23.08.1 And under games, we have some uh, basic Linux games, some card games, Mines, Mahjong, Sudoku, things like that. So these are just uh, basic games. And on our graphics tab, we have uh, scanners, image viewers, image editors. So it's a little bit of everything right here. We have document viewers, Shotwell. So let's take a look at our favorite, GIMP. And it's 2.10. And on our about, we have 2.10.34. And if you wanted to upgrade it, you can just check, click on the check for upgrades and you can download 2.10.36. And that's Gantt. And let's see, on the internet, we saw that we have Firefox. So being that we are on Ubuntu, I don't think it's the ESR version. I think it's just the regular Firefox version 121 or something like that but let's just take a look and see which one it is ah 111.0.1 so canonical mozilla firefox and this is after upgrading and everything it's still on 111 while in other systems you get like 121 all righty and multimedia we have cheese Elisa Music Player, MPV, and VLC. So let's take a look at VLC. And under the help, we have the about 3.0.18 Veterinary. And the Ubuntu build for Unstable. Ubuntu AMD 64. And I saw that they also had a music player there, which is Elisa. Lisa, Eliza, 
I won't judge you. You can call it whatever you want. And let's look for the about. Should be in the hamburger menu. And there it is. Elisa version 23.08.1. And under Office, we have the LibreOffice Suite. So uh, let's take a look at Calc. I think I'm used to always opening Calc because it's what I actually use for work. And LibreOffice 7.6.4.1. So it is the latest version of uh, LibreOffice. Science and Math has a LibreOffice in there also with math. And we have our settings. So under settings, we have uh, quite a few options here. So let's see, we have the Synaptic Package Manager. Oh, hold up, hold up, lost my uh, place. So the Synaptic Package Manager, this is a standard on all Debian-based systems. So let's take a look at it. And we'll do a search right here. And right here, I like to change it to just name. I just wanted to search the names, not everything on the app. So uh, let's say, for example, we want to look for HTOP. And it's already installed, so I don't need to do anything else with that. Now let's do a NeoFetch. And it is also already installed. So we can just take a look at the about. And Synaptic Package Manager 0 0.91.3. All right, knowing that our our stuff is installed, let's just get straight to a terminal emulator. And this is console. So under console, let me see what this does. More actions. Oh, don't want to go there. So we'll do a quick H stop. And you can see right here, we are running 1.04 1 gigabytes on our RAM, and our load average is 0 0.51, 0 0.58, and 0 0.35. So pretty low. And if we click on NeoFetch, or type in NeoFetch, get our system input. So right here is Kubuntu, which is actually Spoink OS, but I guess because it uses the Ubuntu uh, system, it displays Kubuntu right here. And the kernel, 6.6. .6. Desktop environment, Plasma. All right. And we can take a look at some uh, settings here. And let's see if we can get to our system settings. We can look at some theming. So from right here, you have the breeze option and the breeze dark. So right now breeze dark is chosen, but if I just choose regular breeze, click on that, you see how it changes the theme. Then I can just go to back to breeze dark, change that. But if I click on the appearance right here, it opens up a, a larger window and you, can, you see that you have more options right here. So there's Kubuntu, breeze, multiple variants of breeze. Then you can also change your application styles, your plasma styles, colors, window decorations, fonts, icons, cursors, everything. Everything all from right here. It's one of the things about KDE. This menu right here lets you do everything you need to do in your system. And it does it well. And let's see for wallpapers. I just go right here, configure desktop and wallpaper. And I'll move this to the corner. And you can see right here, it has a pretty pretty good selection of wallpapers you can use right here. But then again, you can also go on the web and download whatever wallpapers you want yourself. And you can also use those. So the world is at your fingertips right here. All right, I'll just stick with this one, click Apply, click OK. And this is Spoink OS. It's pretty standard. It's based on Ubuntu, works well. No issues here whatsoever. 
All right, you guys, that's going to do it on this overview. So uh, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and please subscribe. All right, you guys, and I'm out.